What's up you guys, it's Ness. Today I'm gonna to be shooting a jewelry campaign for Buy Lolita Jewelry. Um, I'm gonna be using two backdrop colors. I'm gonna be using green and I'm gonna be using pink. Uh, and I don't know, just stay tuned, you know what I'm saying? Watch, pay attention, you feel me? Learn something and uh, let's get it, you know what I'm saying? Love these wall mounted backdrop systems cause they just, they just do what they need to do, you feel me? Simply put it in there, tighten it up. Be good to go. Why did I just put it back in the wrong one? See what I'm saying? Trying to be a YouTuber. Goes wrong. This whole video is sponsored by The Vision. So if you're looking for a really dope space to book, make sure you check out The Vision. I'll leave their social media below. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, this side is already set up, so I don't have to do too much. So now, I mean, we're gonna drop this pink one. And these photos are gonna look really nice. I always shoot with Lolita like every year, like once a year, you know what I'm saying? She uh, gets some new pieces and she always hits me up like, I need to do a shoot. And I'm like, yo, I got you. And the best part about this time is we're in a, a actual like studio setting. And on top of that, uh, I went ahead and invested in a lot of pro photo equipment to, you know, just upgrade my quality and stuff like that. So um, you'll see me set that up in a minute here. I'm just excited, you know what I'm saying? I'm excited, but you know what I'm saying? So, always try to keep your backdrop paper as crispy as possible. Um, yeah, I don't know why all these fingerprints are here, but I'm gonna cut that off real quick. So with this, you just wanna take it, find a good point, and slide across. Now we just roll down. One. Perfect. And I'm gonna take those other two up because they're supposed to be taped up. Let's go ahead and rip this gaff off. Boom. Just pull it, roll it. Just better presentation for your client, for you. I mean, just make sure your studio is like A1. Shout out again to the vision room, you feel me? If you need somewhere to shoot and you're in the Jersey tri-state area, Jersey City, Newark, you feel me, Bloomfield, you know, that area, definitely check out the vision room. And tell them I sent you. You might get a discount. I ain't promising them, you might. Here we go. Very nice. See how it just looks way better, you feel what I'm saying? It just looks way better like that, way cleaner. So now that I have this side of the room set up for the pink, that side set up for the green, you get what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, we're only shooting beauty today, so I don't need a whole row rolled out. Uh, now I'm gonna start setting up my equipment on both sides. To be completely honest, I don't know what side of the room we're gonna start on, but it really doesn't matter. I just wanna be set up and have everything laid out. So, you know what I'm saying? When everybody gets here, I don't need to be scrambling around and looking like I'm doing a thousand things. I could just be chilling, you feel me? So now I'm about to go ahead and set up the lights and yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just pay attention to learn a lot, you know what I'm saying? So my first light is gonna go on here, my key light is gonna go on there. And then my fill light is gonna go on here. This is why you gotta book the vision room, cause see, they have C stands, light stands on rolly things, you feel me? They're on wheels, you know what I'm saying? So it just makes your life easier when you rotate and moving things around from one side of the room. Very great space, you feel what I'm saying? If you haven't already, I know I keep promoting it, you feel me? I'm sponsored. But outside of that, it's a great space. I don't like to shoot in anywhere that's cluttered, nasty, you know what I'm saying? This is a great space, you know what I'm saying? Uh, matter of fact, let me just go play a quick commercial from our sponsors. Roll it now. Hope you guys enjoyed that little commercial there, you know what I'm saying? So now I got my whole cart right here. I'm gonna begin to set everything up. As I pull everything out, I'm going to tell you what I'm using. So first off, you know what I'm saying? Always bring your own power brick or, you know, surge protector uh, to, your, to your shoes. So yeah, I'm using Profoto D2 1000 watt. You know what I'm saying? Lots of power, lots of power. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm saying a lot, but you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Amazing things are gonna happen today. Big thing to go on. They even got the very nice sandbags. Very nice. Right? Boom. 
I'm not gonna lie to you, these lights were probably like my best, the best investment that I've made so far all year. And whenever you're setting your stuff up, you should be running the wires around the light stand so there's not so much wire hanging out, uh, hanging out all over the place where people can trip over and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? You wanna make this, this, this work area as safe as possible, as efficient as possible. So just keep everything out the blood cloud way. The second light for my fill light, I'm gonna be using a Profoto B10 Plus. Um, and I'm just gonna have that behind the model mostly. Um, you'll see, I can't explain it. I just see it in my head, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know what I'm doing, I think. You know what I'm saying? But um, this is gonna be my fill light though. You know what I'm saying? My, my B light. That's, that's my A light, it's B. You feel me? Hello, what's up? Hi, I'm here. Okay. So it turns out that the talent is here. So you might not hear me talking as much. You might just hear me, um, you know, shooting. And then I'll probably just do a voiceover for the, like, I don't want to call it B-roll, but you know what I mean? I'm just going to do a voiceover because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be talking and stuff. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's it. I just want to let y'all know that. You know what I'm saying? So more likely than not, when you see me like setting up equipment in a studio setting, that's because like the night before, uh, you know, every time I go over my equipment and make sure everything works, you know what I'm saying? I always like to just put a hand on everything that I'm gonna be using for the next day. And you know, if it's if, if I if I like see anything wrong, like the slightest thing wrong, I'm ready to just get a new piece of that equipment. So that's why you'll always see me setting up something new, if, you know, if, you, if we work together or something, just cause I just like having everything to just be like seamless. So yes, sir. So as you see me sit here and like, you know, play with these lights and stuff like that, I'm just getting used to the settings. Um, I typically don't use Profoto. I just had bought these uh, prior to doing this shoot. Um, and this was the first shoot, like the first professional shoot that I really got to like really test out what they can do. Um, they're capable of way more than what I was doing um, in this shoot, but uh, they're really good. I love the color consistency and I just love how powerful they are. Um, and I can go up and down in power when I feel and not feel like I don't have enough or just what I need. So um, these lights are really good. So that's my rant on that. Now don't get it twisted. You don't need to buy like super expensive lights to get some like professional quality work. Uh, before I was using these, I was using the Godox 8600 Pros and they worked out fine. So, and I had those for years, like at least three, three, yeah, yeah three years of my career. Chin up just a little bit. Use your legs a lot more because um, your legs are going to define your posing up top. You know what I'm saying? So if, if, if you're doing whatever, you might want to, you know what I'm saying? Or if you're holding the glasses, you know what I mean? Let's put that hand under your chin. Like try to so with me moving into my fourth year and I'm doing, you know, bigger shoots and taking on bigger clients, I just wanted to have more professional uh, equipment to handle the workload. So you don't need super expensive lights, but, you know, if you can get it, get it. I mean, that's my recommendation. So, yes, sir. the shots that I got um, as always there's some there's certain things that you wish you could have changed or there's things that you wish you would have did differently but you know it's all a learning process but I really enjoyed how these uh, photos came out and uh, Carol did a great job Lolita always had some fire pieces I hope you guys enjoyed this has been a long one but uh, it's been a while since I've given you guys some content so I thought you know why not really give you guys some content content some long form content so that's about it that's out I'll leave all of their social media information in the description below. So make sure you check them out. Um, but back to the video. That's a wrap, man. Peace.